Hey there, good afternoon. I'm Lucas Bond with the Missouri Department of Conservation. And today on Habitat Hints, we're gonna be talking about moist soil wetland management. And I'm actually joined again with Jeremy Caps. Jeremy's gonna tell us all we need to know about management of the moist, wet soil down here in the Southeast Missouri and get more information we need to know and why is it so important that we manage that moist soil and so forth throughout the year. We'll turn this around and we'll start talking with Jeremy. All right, Jeremy. Jeremy, so we're going to be talking about, like you said, moist soil wetland management. Tell me exactly what that is and why we manage that. Okay, so what this is is I mean, when we have a, a track of ground that the soil lends itself due to either water table or just you know overall topography that it stays wet all the time. There's a lot of places, especially here in southeast Missouri, that it doesn't really lend itself well to agriculture, but it can be a very important habitat, and that's where moist soil management comes in. There's a lot of things that benefit from moist soil management. A lot of people always think waterfowl, but there's a lot of things that benefit from moist soil management. Uh, you can find a lot of plants that provide a lot of habitat for pollinators in moist soil management. As you can see behind us, we've got a lot of smart, uh, our annual types of smart weed. They provide a lot of uh, pollinator habitat, you know, midsummer all the way up till freeze that they'll continue to bloom, providing that really important uh, nectar sources for pollinators, even the ones that are migrating through, gives them the food sources they can keep going. Uh, with moist soil management, it's a very complex. You want you like a nice mix of, of forbs and grasses or broadleafs and grasses. That's per, you know ultimately you're wanting to provide a lot of seed for the white late winter. We usually you know, we look at it as far as for waterfowl management. It's a good carb source for late winter, but in the same time it also provides a lot of invertebrates. Moist soil is it, it produces a large amount of invertebrates throughout the year. There's always one of those, there's stuff living above it, and then as rather from being flooded by a well or as you're catching rainwater in it, then it produces a lot of water below, or a lot of invertebrates below the water surface. And it's just a wide, wide range of things that benefit from it. You can also, there's a lot of upland species that'll benefit from moist soil management. Um, you'll see a lot of times there'll be white-tailed deer out foraging for the forbs that are growing in the moist soil management. So you can hit a broad range of things. Um, like what we're doing right here is we, we came through in, in early August and dissed this, this, because a lot of times, just like in upland habitats, your habitat types, the, due to the predominant species of plants that are growing there, they'll almost become a monoculture. So by coming through here with a disc and doing a, a moist soil disturbance, or you can even use a bush hog. This one, we did a disc. It kind of does a real big hard reset for the, for the habitat, mm -hmm. and it changes it up. So that way you kind of get a nice mix. Um, when we disc this up, we've got a really good response to sedges. Sedges are very important for waterfowl and, and rails and a lot of other birds because they provide a seed and a tuber that grows below the ground and then with those sedges then that's a really good carbohydrate source for late wintering waterfowl they can forage down into the mud and find those carbohydrates with moist soil management it's it's 365 days a year there is some it's providing food and shelter for a diverse amount of habitat it's one of those things that's what's great about moist soil like i said if if somebody has a track of ground that doesn't lend itself to other, any other type of management, moist soil management is, is an awesome source. Like I said, there's, there's a lot of habitat that can be found for pollinators, upland species, migratory birds of, of all different types. And it lends itself not only to hunting, but there's a lot of recreational bird watching that can happen just due to the, the amount of diversity as far as birds that come to moist soil and that are feeding on the, rather the insects or the, the, the small wildlife there. Um, that calls it home. Now, you're talking about management. What else entails? I know you're talking about disking. What else you have to do throughout a year round to keep it going, to keep it in the it's soil one, moist and all that? It's one of those things that early, you start planting early spring as far as how you mitigate the water. You know, there's some, some places that there's not really much control. It it's all has to do with the water table and or if you've got a, like a local river close by and it's how the water pulls off and the timing of year that you can really get a good diversity. It, it revolves around soil temperature as that water's coming off and mud's being exposed. Rather, earlier in the year, you get a really good grass response and as it warms up, then you start getting a lot more broad leaves. We manage it so that a lot of times when you've got a water control structure, it's easy to, to mitigate that water and really diversify it so that that way you're, you're hitting a broad spectrum and you don't wind up with just one species dominating the landscape and you get that wide variety of different plant species so that you're providing habitat for 
as many species as possible. Awesome, awesome. And and where can people learn more about you know managing for the uh, the moist soil? The the first thing that I would say is is to seek out your private lands conservationist. Whether go on our website and the contact information is on there, or you can call call your local regional office and they'll put you in contact with the private lands mm -hmm. conservationist for your county. We love to work with people on stuff like that, and especially down in this part of the world. This is a it's a very important habitat type. Um, that I, again, it provides a, a large range of, of habitat. There are some information on our website, and there's a lot of websites and a lot of research out there that people can do on their own on the internet as far as figuring out what moist soil plants are there and what they can work with. And the good thing is, is there's a lot of these moist soil plants they're already in the seed bank, so it's not one of those things that it requires a whole lot of work. We do use some herbicides during the growth season, and it's not a bad thing for the wetlands to go dry. This year, where it's been a lot drier, it's, it's given us an opportunity to really go in. You can bush hog, or you can you can disc. You can even burn wetlands on, sometimes. That it it's actually and then you can help get that diversity that way, depending on you know what equipment you have available to you. That again, that's working with the private lands conservationists. There's stuff out there that, and resources that we can provide to help with that. All right, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much, Jeremy, and. Thank you all for watching today, and again, I'm going to echo what he said. Check out our website at mdc.mo.gov to learn more about moist soil wetland management and get all the information you would like to know. Thank you very much, and have a great rest of the day.